delicious. Isla Mujeres, Isla Mujeres, easily. Welcome back to Eat by La Tavo. We are Jenny and Kevin. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to get from Cancun to Isla Mujeres for travelers on a budget. When you're walking around Cancun, you'll be offered a variety of packages that'll take you to different islands, specifically Isla Mujeres. They're selling packages anywhere from $15 to $30 one way. Some of them can be up to over $100. Those will include an entire show, buffet, open bar on like a pirate ship, which sounds really cool and all, but again, if you're on a budget, you can find places like this, Embarcadero Cancun to Isla Mujeres right here on the Cuculcan Avenue, and this will take you over to Isla Mujeres for just $22 per person round trip. So much cheaper than all these other big packages. And again, everything's in dollars, not pesos. So just keep an eye out. It's, it really is a matter of research and watching videos like ours to help give you these tips and you know really travel on a budget. In addition to the Embarcadero and the Hotel Zone area, you also have another ferry terminal in Puerto Juarez. Puerto Juarez is the better option if you're staying in Cancun Centro, like we were. We took a taxi from our Airbnb to Puerto Juarez and we paid about 50 pesos. The ferry terminal is called Ultramar and it's often very busy with long lines of people. There were two lines, one to buy your tickets and the other to board the ferry boat. If you want to skip the first line, we highly recommend buying your tickets online. Search Ultramar Ferry to Isla Mujeres, go to the Ultramar website, put in your route, and buy your tickets. Once you've got your tickets on your phone, you can skip the purchasing window and go straight to the line to board the ferry boat. Be prepared to be greeted by tour guides offering tour packages for the island. Be prepared to say your no thank yous or if you're interested, I suggest doing some research in advance so you don't feel so overwhelmed when you arrive. We started off our day with a piña colada and then walked to Playa Norte. The island is fairly small and walkable, but you can also rent a golf cart if you have room in your budget and prefer not to walk. We enjoyed the vibes at Playa Norte in the morning and early afternoon, later did some snorkeling. Awesome, we got live music on the beach. What else could you ask for? Yo, Chicago, 
Andan juntos, pero no revueltos. O sí, andan revueltos. Andan juntos, y andan revueltos. Se casaron y ya no tienen vuelto. Andan juntos, andan revueltos. Con anillo hermano, ¿qué te cuento? Andan juntos, andan revueltos. ¡Qué miedo la boda! ¡Qué miedo! Lo presiento. Andan juntos, andan juntos. Hay revueltos, grabando, grabando, grabando el encuentro. Andan juntos, revueltos. El marido ya le va a cantar. Oye, le gusta grabar y grabar. The southern end of the island is called Punta Sur, and it's Mexico's most eastern point, which makes it the first to see the sun every morning. Here you'll find the statue dedicated to Ixchel, the main Mayan goddess of love, fertility, water, the moon, the rainbow, abundance, and medicine. In pre-Hispanic days, Mayan women and girls would make pilgrimage to the island as a rite of passage and bring offerings shaped in feminine figures to the goddess. Having witnessed this, the Spanish colonizers named it Women Island. Isla Mujeres is truly a special place because it makes the only Pueblo Mágico on an island in Mexico. It took us an hour to bike ride from Playa Norte all the way to Punta Sur, but it was worth every minute of the exercise and the views. We paid about $5 for two hours, which was significantly less than the $30 for a golf cart. Special thanks to this little burger for hanging out with us, my favorite little baby. <laughs> and to our tour guide. It's been a really fun trip, family trip here, and I'm really sad to say goodbye to this island, um, but hopefully you can take advantage of it sometime soon. But Nena here has something to say. Que se cuiden, que se bañen. Y nos vemos hasta la próxima.